Hello everyone, today I'm gonna have a casual talk regarding how to improve speaking skills. I know um, there are many of those kind of videos on YouTube. Um, I see many uh, famous YouTubers explain the tips of speaking English and also, you know, how to study for improving your speaking skill. But they usually have experience of studying abroad or spend several years in an English speaking country. So I think uh, for those who have no experience of studying about just staying in Japan, uh, which is uh, really similar to me, uh, should take a different approach to be able to speak English because apparently everything is, uh, is different from them, right? Including condition, the environment, motivation. The more you're exposed to speaking English, the faster you can improve your, your speaking skills, of course. But um, it's a pretty tough for us uh, while staying in Japan to have those opportunities. This is why I feel like the, the approach that I actually took would be, would be helpful so those in the same condition, the same environment. To begin with, I personally divide the learning periods into three phases, three stages. First one is preparation period, and then the second one is uh, strike conversation. The third one is to be confident. So let me explain from the first one. You need a fundamental knowledge, fundamental portion of uh, English. Uh, for example, basic understanding of grammar, basic vocabulary. Without those, you can't create any uh, sentences and you don't even understand what people are talking uh, without the basic understanding of, of grammar and vocabulary. So. Um, as a first step, you should learn those stuff. But it's pretty difficult to evaluate how much knowledge you already have and on what level you are, right? So my recommendation is to use uh, English examinations such as TOEIC, ACAMP, which are very popular in Japan. Then after getting a certain point, uh, speaking of TOEIC, around the 700 points, and as for uh, ACAMP, uh, I think uh, second grade is enough. I think. Uh, if you have those scores, it indicates that you are already good enough to strike a conversation. So, as a first step, what you have to do is just uh, take an examination, study for those examinations to get a, um, a certain points, and judge if you are already good enough to strike a conversation, improve your speaking skills or not. Don't start online in Kaiwa in this stage because uh, the rest is gonna be super stressful for you because as mentioned you don't even understand what the tutor is talking and you know it takes a, a huge amount of time to uh, construct English sentences and I think you have no ways of uh, constructing English sentences in the first place so the rest is gonna be super stressful so just just focus please just focus on uh, improving your input skill at this point regarding how to improve TOEIC score i already uploaded several videos in the past uh, in my channel so if you're interested in uh, taking a TOEIC test uh, please check it out the second phase after getting a certain point on TOEIC or ACAM it's time for you to start conversation so it's time to uh, start improving your speaking and output skills. The problem is, uh, while staying in Japan, it's super difficult to have an English conversation in day-to-day -day life. So that's why my recommendation is to uh, use online A kind of school. Let's have an opportunity to have conversation with non-native speakers. Don't jump to uh, talking with native speakers. It's super tough for beginners to have conversation with native speakers. It depends on the person, of course, but they usually use many uh, slangs and colloquial phrases which are not familiar to uh, English learners. You don't necessarily have to pursue the perfect English. Native speakers like English. So just start with uh, non-native speakers first. Of course, I know those who just got 700 points on TOEIC test. It's really difficult to use English, speak English, but nothing will happen unless you take action, you make an effort. So be patient at this stage. And what I want to emphasize in this level is uh, um, be careful about sentence construction. Don't just write up random words you come up with, you know. Don't speak broken English on this stage. You should be very careful about sentence construction. Try to make correct sentences as much as possible, even if it takes a lot of time. Uh, you may be making a big pose or 
a silence in the first place at the beginning um, you might feel like awkward but don't kill it um, be patient try to be correct as much as possible because uh, once you keep uh, creating uh, a broken English, broken sentences you know that random way becomes your habit and it's uh, it might be really difficult to be removed after that so try to be correct as much as possible at this stage don't distort your real opinion due to lack of knowledge you should always try to be honest yourself you know uh, try to express your real opinion even if uh, it takes uh, takes time for example you ask how's how things at work um, it's uh, pretty easier for you to say like yeah good everything's going well yeah everything's fine something like that if it's really fine it's okay of course but if not uh, you should try to express your uh, real emotion real opinion like i'm going through a rough patch and you know it's pretty tough or something like that to distort your real opinion for easier phrases doesn't make anything uh, your speaking doesn't improve at all and if you don't know how to express your real opinion again you can ask a tutor or just take a note and then after the lesson you can google it and be prepared for the next lesson if you feel like your speaking is speeding up and you're able to have a natural speed conversation with non-native speakers it's time for you to move on to the south stage so just be confident since you practice uh, creating right english sentences so much so the phrase uh, coming out of your mouth would be almost automatically correct grammatically correct 80 percent 90 percent correct is enough you know again you don't necessarily pass in the perfect english don't spend too much time for uh, pursuing the perfect pronunciation perfect uh, grammatically correct sentences this stage in contrast to the second stage so just you know writing up expression of phrases uh, you come up with you already have in your mind um, enjoy the conversation don't be afraid of making minor mistakes in the conversation that's a uh, key to improving your speaking speed and fluency if you do that on the second stage, your English will be totally wrong, uh, poor sentence construction. But uh, if you already have uh, enough practice of creating right sentences, so on the south stage, the remaining step you have to do is just uh, improve your fluency, make the conversation smooth. Keep the online echo lessons every day and enjoy the conversation. Try to use phrases you never used before. And then broaden your expressions and speed up your fluency, your speaking speed. To wrap up input preparation until getting a certain point on English examinations. And then on the second stage, strike a conversation, but be careful about your sentence construction. You know, try to be uh, correct as much as possible. Then finally, be confident. Uh, don't be afraid of making mistakes and enjoy conversation. Going through those three steps, you can easily improve your speaking skill while staying in Japan. You don't necessarily have to study abroad to uh, improve your speaking output skills. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.